welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning how to find the area of shapes. Hi Niall, what shapes will we be looking at today? Squares and rectangles. And what is the area of a shape? The area of, the, of a shape is the inside of a shape. Okay, so what have you got in your hand? I've got a pencil and a whiteboard. Does that have all the questions you'll be doing? Yes. Okay, should we get started with a rectangle? Okay. Do you know what the longer side of a rectangle is called? The length. Good. And the shorter side? The width. The width. So let's look at the first rectangle that you've got there. What's the length of that rectangle? The length of it is 6 centimetres. And the width? 3 centimetres. Okay. Do you know what a 1 centimetre square box is? Um, like it would be a square and it has one and it's one centimeter on the length and width. Brilliant. So what is the area of that little box? One centimeter squared. One centimeter squared. So let's draw one centimeter square boxes in our first rectangle. Can you do that for us? Okay. And can you tell us what's happened? Um, so our rectangle has been split into lots of little one centimetre square boxes. How many are there now? Um, 18. 18. So you've got, you've got three rows of six boxes, boxes. or you've got six columns of three boxes. If you times the length by the width, um, you will get the area. The area. So if you times that length of six centimetres by the width of three centimetres, you would get... 18 centimetres squared. Which is the same number of one centimetre squared boxes that we have. Yes. So what's the fast way to do it instead of drawing those boxes all the time? Six times three. Which is? 18. 18. So we simply do the length times the width and that's going to give us the area of our rectangle. So let's look at question number two. What is the length of the rectangle? Um, the length is 8 centimetres. And what about the width? 4 centimetres. So how are you going to find the area of this rectangle? You just have to do 8 times 4. Okay, so can you work that out and tell us what the area is? Um, 3 times 8 is 24, and 24 plus 8 is 32. So what is the answer? 32 centimetres squared. And we also need to say that you always have to have square units. So because it's centimetres, is the units of the length, when we find the area is always going to be centimetres squared. Right, yes. Okay. Let's look at question number three. What shape is that? It is a square. How do you know it's a square? Because the length is five centimetres and the width is five centimetres. Okay, brilliant. So it's got equal sides. So how are you going to find the area of that square? I am going to do five times five, which mm -hmm. is 25 centimetres squared. Brilliant. So the area of that square is 25 centimetres squared. What about question number four? Um, it's another square, three centimetres by three centimetres. So we do three times three, which is nine. So it's nine centimetres squared. The area is nine centimetres squared. What about question five? Question five, so it's another square. It's four centimetres by four centimetres. So we do four times four, which is 16. So it's 16 centimetres squared. Okay, and can we just talk about those three questions that we've just done? Question three, four and five. Can you tell me the answers to all three of them? 
Um, so three is twenty five centimeters squared. Um, nine is. Question I mean, four. four is nine centimeters squared, and question five is sixteen centimeters squared. Have you seen those numbers anywhere before? Do you recognize those numbers? Yes, they're square numbers. They're square numbers. And what is a square number, Niall? A square number is a number. So nine is a square number because three times three, three squared equals nine. Very good. So these are square numbers and we'll look at that in another lesson. But isn't it quite interesting that we have squares and when we times the length by the width or the side by the side, you get a square number. Now it kind of makes sense why the number is called a square number. Yes. Yes, does it? Yes. It's quite interesting. Okay, so let's go on to number six. Um, so it is two centimetres by five centimetres. Can you tell us what the two and the five are? So the two centimetres is the length. Is it? I mean the width. Okay. And the five centimeters is the length. Okay. So um. So we just area? do two times five, which is ten centimeters squared. Brilliant. Number seven. Okay. So number seven, it is one centimeter, which is the width, times eleven centimeters, which is the length. So one times eleven equals eleven. So the area is? 11 centimetres squared. Okay, what about number 8? Number 8 looks slightly different. Can you tell us what's happening there? Um, so it hasn't told us the width, but it's told us the area and the length. Ooh, that's a bit so, tricky. So we would have to do 6 times something equals 24 centimetres squared. Okay, so um, we have to find a missing width. So, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Excellent. So that means the width is 4. So you've actually done the inverse, you've worked backwards to get your answer. Centimetres, yes. Brilliant. And because it's the width, we're not going to put centimetres squared. We just put centimetres. Excellent, Niall. Um, number nine is the same, but this time they've given us the width, but no length. So it's 27. So what's the area? So the area is 27 centimetres squared. And the width? And the width is 3 centimetres. Um, so we do, again, we do 27 divided by 3. Which is 9. So what's the length? So the length is 9 centimetres. And if you had to check it to make sure it works, what would you do? Um, you would do 3 times 9, which is 27. So you know you've done it correctly. Are you ready for a quiz? Of course I am. Okay, brilliant. What's the area of a rectangle? that has a length of 10 centimetres and a width of 2 centimetres. So we would do 10 times 2, so that's 20, so 20 centimetres squared. Brilliant. Area of a square that has side 9 centimetres. Um, 9 times 9, 81 centimetres squared. Excellent. What is the length of the side of a square that has an area of 100 centimetres squared. 10 centimetres. Excellent. What is the area of a rectangle with length 6 centimetres and width 4 centimetres? 24 centimetres squared. Okay. You ready for a tough one? Yeah. What is the area of rectangle with a length of 8 centimetres and a width of 0 0.5 centimetres?
sweet as good. Excellent night, bravo. That comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye. Don't forget to press that like button. Bye, see you next time. Bye. So can you tell us the properties of a rectangle? Um, no. <laughs> no, it's not messing about. <laughs>